So it's Monday the 5th of February and I'm currently looking east towards the moon which rose a short time ago. From my previous home location I was never able to see a moonrise or a sunrise due to the view being obscured but from the new house we have a 270 degree unobstructed view from south through east, north and to west. So I'm now going to be able to take all day time lapses of the sun from sunrise until sunset and similarly with the moon so I'll be doing those in future videos however just for this particular video I'm going to focus on the actual angle of the shadow of the moon because in a few days we're going to see the half moon which is the third quarter now I'm in Sydney Australia which is south 34 degrees latitude and if you look here at the P900 it's looking at the moon and I've set up the level indication on the P900, you can see the green line there, that's proving that the P900 is in fact horizontal. And that way we can get a good indication of the shadow angle on the moon. Now I just thought it would be a good idea if you get the opportunity in the next few days to go out and film the moon compared to your local level indication. We can then tabulate the results of the angle, the difference in the angle of the shadow of the moon to your level position and that's going to give us some good data to analyse in reference to the shape of the earth. So what we're looking for is just the shadow angle on the moon reference to ground level. So I'll just upload this brief video now to start people thinking about it but I will do a follow up explaining how we can use this data to help us understand the geometry of the surface of the Earth because we're going to see quite different shadow angles from different latitudes and we're going to see a distinct correlation to the latitudes whether we're south of the equator or north of the equator and the angle of the shadow on the half moon in a few days. So when I said the P900 was horizontal, I meant in roll, not in pitch. Obviously it was pitched up looking at the moon. So the best time to do this observation would be very shortly after moonrise when it's close to the horizon. 